You're watching Best Cop Television's final day of broadcasting. To take us to the end, join us in a look back over the Penderford Yard years. When Penderford Yard today began, few could have foreseen how big a program it would become. Started as a short magazine type program for local railway enthusiasts, it quickly grew to become one of Best Cop Television's most popular programs. Unfortunately many of the early episodes were lost following a fire at the Plek archive, however, we have managed to locate a copy of the first edition of Penderford Yard today, focusing on the current day operations of the Penderford railway scene.
The huge success of the program led to changes in presentation and more money was made available to the program makers, as advertisers flocked to advertise on what was fast becoming Bescott Television's most watched program.
Join us after the break for more Penderford Yard memories. I fancy some cock. Pardon? Cock Marling, of course. The smooth cherry from Sussex. Ah, Mrs. Simpson, do you fancy some cock? Oh, my goodness, your royal highness. I don't know what to say. Cock Marling, of course. The smooth cherry from Sussex. Oh, is that all? You know, I think I will take a rain check. Bye. Wait, Mrs. Simpson. When you are having a crisis, why not grab yourself a large cock? Cock Marlin, the sherry from Sussex. My dear, would you care for some cock? I beg your pardon? Cock Marlin, of course, the sherry from Sussex. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you meant your not. My dear Madam Marso, you look so cold. Let me warm you with a large cock. Cuescousette, large cook. A cock Marlin, of course, the smooth sherry. Cherie? Cherie? Oh. Oh dear, I think you might have misunderstood. Viens ici. Cherie, viens, viens ici. If you want to warm up your love, why not give them a large cock? Hello, Margaret. It's great to be back in London. Arnold and Nancy, welcome to Downing Street. I'll get Dennis to give you both a large cock by way of our traditional British hospitality. Why, Maggie, I didn't know you were so, um, liberal. A cock marling sherry, of course. There's nothing better than a large cock after a hard day in the house. Oh, is that all? I was looking forward to testing the special relationship for a moment. <laughs> Why not celebrate your special relationships with a large cock? Cock Marling, the British Sherry. Charles, have you been sharing the royal cock with that Mrs. Parker Bill's woman again? But mother... How could you say such a thing? I'm happily married to Diana. Look, Charles, this is your mother you are addressing. I know when you are lying. This decanter was full of one's favorite sherry, cock marling, this morning and now it's nearly gone. And I know Diana doesn't drink sherry. As your brother Edward would say, you are busted, dude. Whatever that means. If you want to impress the real love of your life, why not give them a large cock, cock marling? The smooth sherry. Just don't pinch mothers. You find yourself out at night ministering to the needy. God be with you. But for when he is elsewhere, the let there be light high visibility cassock from cassocks from hassocks will help you be seen and be safe. Members of our frequent friars club get double prayer miles on this garment, cassocks from hassocks, for the best in church workwear. Special offers this month from Bilston European Airways. Fly from Wolverhampton International to Benidorm for £99 return. Whilst on board, treat yourself to 200 capstan full strength and a crate of Banks's mild for £10, or for the children, 200 Marlboro Lights and a bottle of cider for £7.50. All offers subject to availability. Bilston European. Number one in the black country. The Bilston European Great Summer Jetaway is now on. Fly from Wolverhampton International to your favorite summer hotspot in Bulgaria, Spain and the Canaries. 
Fares start at £99 return. If you are off on honeymoon or a romantic getaway, why not ask our onboard staff for the new Bilston Boutique After Dark Adult Only Shopping Guide. It's full of items to help your romance blossom, like, for women who are worried their partner might suffer from post-night out romance deficiency, the Trident Combined Vibrator and Torch for £10. Batteries included, or for the gentlemen who want to give their ladies a night off, why not try Lilo Lil? The anatomically correct inflatable doll that can be used as an inflatable in the swimming pool, just £10 including foot pump. Bilston European, number one in the black country. In celebrity chef and part-time Baby Jane tribute act Fanny Craddock found her drafty kitchen windows were causing her cakes to fail. She knew where to go. Buffa's curtains. We have all sorts of thermal curtains and blinds to suit all budgets and keep you warm. So, if your kitchen is more like a fridge, call Buffa's curtains now, and soon, all your tarts will be like Fanny's. Welcome back. Time now for some more Penderford Yard memories.
Penderford Yard today had become a settled part of the best stop television schedule until a new controller of television, Wayne Kerr, was appointed. He felt the budget and airtime should be better used to develop a new drama based in the tough neighborhood of Karma. However, such was the anger generated by this shock announcement, which led to protests outside the Bescott Television Studios, that by the end of the day, the chairman, Sir Kit Tester, had intervened, Wayne Kerr resigned, and Penderford Yard today was as safe as ever.
in an effort to broaden the interest in Penderford Yard, a one-off special was tried, called Penderford Yard Remixed, involving young, raw filmmakers in the style of a pop video. Sadly, only one of these programs was made.
The final series of Penderford Yard today has been as popular as ever, but the announcement that Bescott Television had lost the franchise to broadcast in the area meant that it was to be the swan song. Also, significant changes had taken place in Penderford Yard, which was no longer a main freight hub, but had been downgraded to an engineer's yard. You see, I want to go to the Seven Valley Railway, the Winston Scorsi Park, and outside the yard manager's office every hour. Don't forget, press the new sort of English producer in the best of TV than where you can have a go at living the moon. And there are schools and stands with all sorts of things to send the rain and visa. So why not have a go and see what takes you out down to it?
have a lot of soil. If the parents of Giant Robert could come to the yard manager's office at the entrance, that's the parents of Giant Robert come to the yard manager's office where he will find you fighting for you. We have another lost toy. We have lost little guy tell her that he's in the yard man to stop his second son from the toy. He's been lost out of his city. But we have to collect guy tell her that the story didn't go. Our chocolate toy gets to three days now. Right. Reminder, we say I want to go to the Seven Valley Railway, the Vinci Crossy Park, and outside the yard manager's office, says the error. Don't forget, that's the more important to be seen in the best of TV than where I yeah, can have a go at living the news. And there are still some stands with all sorts of things to send to Ray and Ginger. So why not have a go? You see what takes you out down to it.
to end our trip down memory lane, not everything goes right with Penderford Yard today. Good morning and welcome to Bestcott Television. In a moment, Penniford Yard today, but first, thought for the morning with Cannon Ball. morning everyone. Yesterday, I was at the local girls school prize giving and as I gazed out at all those young faces, their lives ahead of them, I wondered for a moment what sort of future they would have in view of the current state of international affairs. I gave my usual address, then it was the turn of the head girl to speak. If I had had any doubts about their future, they were instantly dismissed as she gave the most inspirational speech. Studio, what the hell is going on? It's Simon. He's bought his bloody rabbit to work and it's chewing the cables. We've got no control. When she stood there and said, I fancy some cock. I knew that the future was safe in a young generation. All they need, want and hope for is Get a cock insider. Will someone please cast the bloody thing before we all sack? And I'm sure they will achieve it. At the end of the prize giving I turned to the headmistress and said, Soon, all your tarts will be like fannies. Oh God, shoot me now. So, if you worry about the state of the world fear not, we have a new generation coming up who know what they want and how to get it. Blessings on you all. Dillis, apologize like you've never done before. We would like to apologize for the technical problems during thought for the morning which was due to an escaped rabbit chewing through the cables. We hope to have fixed the problem, so here, slightly later than build is Penderford Yard today. Right, and after that almighty cock up I'm off outside to have a fag with the cannon. Dennis the mic is still on. Oh fuck.
bollocks. That brings us to the end of broadcasting, not just for tonight, but forever. On behalf of everyone at Bescot Television, thank you for being with us over the years, we've enjoyed your company. So, before we crack open the sherry from Cockmarling, this is Preston Montford saying for the last time, goodbye.